light to you Aries welcome to my channel I'm Butterfly Tarot and it's I the Butterfly and I'm here to give you your why did they ghost you reading for July 2020 all right I'd like to say this that it's a general reading for one and with general readings sometimes the energy is timeless tell you the truth you know sometimes the things that we say within these readings will take place within the month that we said is going to take place and other times it's something that has already taken place or is about to happen <clears throat> it's up to you to uh, observe and see the signs to figure out you know if this is your story or not and also to um, give you some insight so that you'll have a heads up on what's coming your way so if you are in a situation where you have been ghosted then this reading is for you okay and remember it's a general reading so some things may apply other things may not you know, so take what resonates and discard whatever does not. <clears throat> I would like to say real quick, if you are new to my channel, thank you for joining me. And if you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. And then once you subscribe, hit that notification button so that you'll get updates for whenever I upload new material. And if you are returning to my channel, you know I love y'all. I love me some y'all. I truly appreciate all the love and support. Um, I have no music today because I was told that the music uh, sometimes drowns out the reading. So I'm trying to accommodate my subscribers <clears throat> and my viewers uh, to let them know that I care. But the, the music helps me to relax. But we're going to get into this reading. I don't want to keep dragging it out. Uh, if you watch my past videos, you'll know that at the end of August, I will be doing a tallying up of which videos, uh, which sign had the most uh, net views and comments. And I will be taking people from the comment section and I will be offering them a free 20 minute reading if you get drawn in a raffle, okay? This is a very long intro. I, don't, I didn't want to go this long, but I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought I'd just get that out there real quick. So let's just hop right into this reading to figure out why this person goes to you. Ghost you is when somebody just leaves you without saying anything or you just feel clueless to why the relationship just abruptly ended, okay? So this may be past energy. Mm, okay. And um, so we're just going to get into this reading, Aries. And again, thank you for joining me. Alright? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take care. All right, nine of pentacles, overall energy. <clears throat> I would normally take this out, put this here, but I'm going to leave it in here because it may come out again. So it looks like uh, this overall energy is that this person just wants to focus on themselves right now. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, with we got the page of, of pentacles that flipped out, but we also have this nine of pentacles. So that tells me that this person is working on themselves. They're working on gaining their own stability and they're not really interested in a relationship right now, okay? So, what has taken place? So, we got the Page of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Five of, of uh, Wands in the reverse. So, there's some conflict, okay? So, this person is looking and reflecting at their life. Now, this could be pertaining to you, okay? But like I said, the overall energy of the reading said the nine of pentacles saying that this person wants to be focusing on themselves. They want to gain their own stability. Maybe they feel as though that uh, they've lacked uh, stability within your relationship and that they cannot be a good mate to you. But it's saying also with this justice card and then the five of wands after that, that this person feels as though that there was like a lot of negative energy within your relationship and that this person felt as though that they could not offer you something that would give you justice so it looks to me like Aries that this person did not have any malice it's saying that this person lacked the confidence that they will be able to provide for you what it is that you need in order to be stable within a relationship so I would like to know how are they feeling right now concerning the, the choice that they've made to leave the connection between the two of you. <clears throat> oh, six 
Hearts of Wands in reverse. Magician. And Three Cups. Alright, well, it's telling me that this person feels as though, alright, concerning you, that they, um, with the Six of Wands in reverse, it's saying that, alright, this person has self-esteem issues, okay? I don't know, I'm feeling all emotional and crap, but this person, they have self-esteem issues. They really, like, they, they, they feel as though that, um... With, with all that I'm seeing here is that they will come back around to you. But they don't want to come back to you until they're able to give you what it is that they believe that you deserve. Okay? And that's kind of sad. Because it's saying that, um... Because they want to come back to you. They do. They do. With this, this Three of Cups and this Magician card, they want to come back to you. Okay? But they feel as though right now they're lacking. Okay? And that they made this decision because they have self-esteem issues. That's why the Page of Pentacles and the Justice card is like, am I, able, am I going to be able to do right by this person? Because you're misreading them. With this Five of Wands in the reverse, you're misreading this person. You guys are bumping heads and you're having all kinds of conflict. It's because this person is insecure. With this Six of Wands in the reverse, it's telling me this person's insecure. And until they're able to be able to provide for you what it is that they want to do for you, they feel as though that they're not deserving of you. So it's not even a third party energy. You're talking about somebody who has a self self esteem issues. Oh. Hmm. And that's kind of sucky because if they would just have clear communication, because I see no communication here, meaning that you guys are not talking to each other, even though the Page of Pentacles is here, it's like they wanted to offer you something solid, stable, they wanted to do right by you, but something has gotten away, they either lack confidence, or it may be because of these times that we're currently in with this stupid little coronavirus crap, you know, how it's affecting people, and it's affecting people's pockets, it's affecting you know their ability to provide for you and that this person they're just trying to regain their power and their strength but it's saying that they're going to come back around once they get back on their feet they're going to come back around but right now they're in, they're in the dumps right now they don't feel very high about themselves they have very low self-esteem okay so what is going to be the outcome you know what is going to be the end result of this situation for my dear aries concerning the person who has left them who has ghosted them you know, and with the Nine of Pentacles being the overall energy for this reading, it could be saying that this post person is focused on getting themselves financially stable. And they know that they cannot give you what you need. You get what I'm saying? They can't give you what you need right now. And it doesn't make them a bad person. What makes them kind of a sucky person is the way that they're going about doing it. Instead of them speaking the truth, they're reacting. <clears throat> they're reacting instead of. Uh, acting and coming forth and being upright you know and now the question is is that when they finally get themselves together are you going to want them back so let's see the outcome for this situation four swords queen of pentacles in reverse and the nine of pentacles again okay so that means that right now okay this person is, you guys are going to be separated for a minute, and I know you're going to be pissed. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, okay, Aries? And it's saying that right now, this person is, is the outcome is that they are going to be focusing on themselves because there's things that they need to fix within themselves. They're trying to gain that Nine of Pentacles. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that only confirms what I said about their self-esteem and how they feel about themselves. That you're dealing with a person who's suffering from a certain amount of depression because they have been affected by the situation. And because they have been affected by the situation, what they're doing is, is that they're indirectly taking it out on you. You know, and it's like, <clears throat> that's not what they really want to do. 
because they want to come back to you but they feel as though that I'm looking at this if you are the divine feminine I'm looking at this like this person feels as though that they cannot come back to you until they are able to give you what it is that you need and if you are still in communication with this person and you suspect that this is what's going on I think that you need to have a sit down with this person to let them know that I see you trying I see you doing what you are trying to do and we're all going through it this is not the way to handle our relationship because this is causing hurt to me and you and it's going to damage our relationship but this person truly wants to manifest a new beginning with you and they do want to reunite with you but they are in such a low that they feel as though that they cannot be with you until they are able to give you what it is that they believe that you deserve so it's their ego that's getting in the way and they are right now are focusing on trying to get themselves right okay so that's why they pulled away from you with that four swords they're, they're all up in their head about this and it doesn't I don't see an evil wicked person I see a person that's trying to avoid some sort of conflict or if there's been conflict maybe you guys have had a fight or fights over money and stability and this person wants to provide for you they want to bring you stability but they feel as though like the only way that they're going to get themselves right is to get away from you to get some time to themselves to get their heads right you know maybe go into a safe space a safe place where they can get through their thoughts deal with their emotions and their ego and everything else like that and then they will come back out on top. I'm